Hello friends, it's me Hans from your Adventure Channel. In this video I want to show you my outdoor belt and what's inside and for this I also use this German military map for isolation. It's like you can see very thin material and it's not uh, very comfortable when you use it uh, on the ground they use a thermal rest but it's uh, very awesome when you want to sit down when you go hunting and you lie down you in two seconds you have a blanket where you can lie on you are protected against uh, mud and against the moisture in that case it's a very fine feature but now we take a look in my outdoor belt. First I give you a 360. Here on this side I have a letterman tool, a leather bag. Here on the back that's a Swiss Army leather bag, about 60 years old. And here my now knife with a fire steel on this side because I'm a left hander. Okay, let's so, take a look. So that's what it's look. First we take a look at the knife, nothing special. Uh, this fire steel I have made a different handle out of antler and the knife himself. The handle is made out of micarta. The knife is a typical knife for bushcraft and hunting very sharp and this is very easy to sharpen too. Very good handle, very good balanced, yeah, I like it. The so next feature is a Leatherman tool. I don't know, it's uh, maybe over 10 years old, but there are today a lot of this. I like it, it's very, very, very uh, handy and has all the features you need like here different features you don't need it when you go in the forest uh, without uh, technic things like a weapon or like uh, optics but uh, when you go with this, it's uh, very good. You have uh, some features like here to repair something by yourself if it's necessary. In this back here, I take what I need for this day. So today there is no nothing special in it. What I take always with me is a carbiner, some extra lighter, and today a sharpener for easy sharpening the knife. That's all for today. Normally I take in some food, coffee, sugar for a day hike. What I like most is this Swiss Army leather bag. It's a very, very strong leather. You cannot buy it today. On the back side, you can see where it's made from, and it made 1960 from way. Gütinger uh, from Brunei. So take a look what's inside here. Here's a lot of equipment. First of all my survival kit. We take a look later. My flasher light from Turun Knight. 
TC10. I loved it. Very, very strong. Very good quality. Then in this season, I have some body warmers and some food warmers. Also, in a case of emergency, when you have to stay a night outside, that's very, very helpful. Then, of course, uh, emergency blanket. That's very important because uh, when you have a problem out in the forest and you have not planned to go overnight, it's uh, very, very difficult in the reality to build a shelter, to get a shelter from the rain. Though with this blanket, uh, you get really shelter from the wind and from the rain and when you over that are able to build a shelter against uh, the wind you are perfect protected but uh, this is very very important when you go without your sleeping bag and all these things there's another battery for the true night lamp One emergency piece, the other I have in my first aid kit, but that's the basic uh, when you get hurt, before you return to your camp, you can make first aid. And the last thing in here is my Baco hand saw. Very, very useful for collecting firewood or for building a shelter. Yo, that's all in this. So that's what I take with me on a day hike without other features. Now let's take a look into the survival kit. First of all, protected from moisture, I have some tinder, birch bark, some pads, and also a little bit of chocolate. Inside this, there are all the Asus features, first of all, vector uh, for signaling and also when you get hurt in your face or someone, only with this you are able to take a look what the injury look like. So then have some plasters, some towels for cleaning wands and then another backup flashlight, a whistle, a compass, a thermometer, another very little lamp, a knife and that knife is also useful for the fryer starter because it's no stainless steel. Then here I have some features for repair closing for repair gear and also some micro pour for the water for making water drink able. So that's a features in here and for the last years it always was okay in this organization. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. If so, 
give me a like, all the best, and bye bye.